Hey, what's up, uh, Chicago Bears family? I uh, just kind of wanted to discuss uh, Peter King's uh, recent comments to the Parker and Spiegel show on 670 The Score. Uh, Peter King said that Ryan Poles uh, is not convinced that Justin Fields will ever be the franchise quarterback, and Bears Twitter went nuts, uh, pretty much saying that Ryan Poles has committed a uh, franchise malpractice. And honestly, I'm not that upset. The reason is, is if you wanted Ryan Poles to go out and get a better quarterback, where was he going to get it? In his first draft, he didn't have a first round pick. And you think Kenny Pickett is better than Justin Fields? It was a terrible draft for quarterbacks and it was a terrible free agency year. Plus, Fields was just coming off his rookie year. Even though he didn't draft him, you might as well see what he's got compared to what was in the market and in the draft. And I think this offseason, he got the evaluation right. Again, he showed glimpses of being and flashes of being a dynamic playmaker. So why would you want to get rid of that over a lean Bryce Young who is one ragdoll tackle away from being out of the league. Anthony Richardson is basically Justin Fields 2.0 with less starts. And CJ Stroud, you would be replacing him with an Ohio you'd be replacing you'd be replacing Justin Fields with another Ohio State quarterback. Try selling that to the fan base. So while he may not be convinced that Justin Fields will ever turn in to a franchise quarterback, and right now we're trending towards that, what was better in the draft and in the market? And again, the market, what was on the market? Bringing back Andy Dalton? I mean, think about it, the Falcons... And the Redskins were like, nah, we're good. We're good with Desmond Ritter and Sam Howell. You had Baker Mayfield as uh, your best option. So you think Baker Mayfield? Yeah, he outplayed Justin Fields. But when does Baker Mayfield turn into a pumpkin? So that's why, at least this year, I think Ryan Poles has played around. Right. I'm not out on Ryan Poles. I'm not yet out on Justin Fields, I'm for sure out on Matt Eberflus. It's trending towards being out on Justin Fields, though. But when you look at that Kansas City Chiefs game, he got no help. He was either under constant pressure or his wide receivers weren't open. So right now, after three games, we have Green Bay, where he was a check down master, you do have the Tampa Bay game where, yeah, he played awful. Missed a lot of open receivers. Outside of those two series where he led them for a touchdown, did not play well. Yeah, there's some uh, mitigating factors. The coaching was still bad, like the play calling. But, yeah, Justin Fields did not play well. And then against the Chiefs, it was a... Uh, it was a rerun of last year. So we still don't know truly if Justin Fields can develop. But I'm not going to be upset that Ryan Poles decided to say, you know what, I'm going to give this guy a shot. And if it doesn't work out, I'll just move on. Which he set up the organization to move on if Justin Fields doesn't work out. All right, bear down.